G'day guys, Chris here from Vogus Prospecting. Do you know what the video this is? This video is our 200th subscriber giveaway video. And that means somewhere throughout this clip there is going to be location data hidden within it. If you spot it, you can follow that data to find a prize. Now that prize includes a northeast nugget, a sapphire, and another little unidentified gem. I haven't quite worked out what it is yet, but it's shiny and pretty. <laughs> it's a real life treasure hunt. So keep your eyes peeled in this clip. And when you see the data, write it down and get in your car and go out and find it. It's anyone to claim it's first in best dress and I will let you know when it's been found so you don't get in your car in the middle of the night. Head out and get really disappointed that someone else has found it. Sit back and relax guys, get your spectacles on and I hope you enjoy this clip. Oh yeah, gravel on top of bedrock. Oh and it's clay too, look at that. Sick. It always blows my mind where you'll find gold. Like this is just a barely running creek. We've had rain and look at that, gold straight away. First place to put my shovel in. Not a spectacular amount, but I'm gonna go again and see if it does get any better. Well, unfortunately that spot paid it off, but I did get a little bit of gold out of it, so that's something. This tributary is really nice and it's running up lots of exposed bedrock, so we're gonna follow this. I was gonna go to the creek, but pff, tributary it is. This has to be one of the best parts where you get to reveal the gold and you don't know what's in there. There's a new spot, lots of clay. I love the ironstone. Ironstone in this region usually means gold. There's one bit. Yeah, yeah, okay. There's a couple. That's not bad. Well, this is not my ideal setup for a river sluice, but when you're stream hunting like this, you just sort of take what you can get. Um, your know, rocks are oscillating in it. I'm just digging out these crevices just in here um, along the inside bend. Uh, and there was all right gold in there. I'm not expecting much, but it's quicker than panning and I've got it here, so we might as well. Alright, don't you love crystal clear water? I was dealing with muddy crap before. Now we're going to get to see the gold for real. <laughs> hey, look at that. That is not a bad little total. I did tell a lie before. I said 50 shovels. I probably did about 30. It wasn't as many. That's alright. It's not bad for just throwing a little bit of rock down a sluice. Oh, grizzly. God knows this place is stunning. I'm just working a couple of the inside bends, but look how pretty this creek is. It's amazing. Let there be shiny stuff. Oh, there is shiny stuff. Oh, not tons though. So. First pan out of that, uh, Nice crevice, and oh, I see gold. It's coming out on my right hand side, your left hand. That's pretty good for one pan. Pan number two from the crevice. I'm hoping it stays the same, it'll be really nice. Because I like gold. Yeah, it stayed pretty good. There's still gold in that crevice, but I wanted to show you um, just how much I pulled out of it because it's quite a nice little chunk of gold. When it comes to prospecting, looks are always deceiving. I just pulled up some really nice looking dirt, however, so I hope the looks are not deceiving and there is some really nice gold in there. Oh, <laughs> I was right, I was right, it happened, I'm finally back on the money, alright. Alright, just gotta pull the mat, have a look at what we got, really difficult spot to work, so um, I'm best off coming back here with a couple of different tools, but there should be some gold.
Here we go. This is the concentrates from that mat. Um, I didn't do too many shovels. It's a really difficult crevice to work because it's so thin, but it's very deep. Uh, so I've got to come back with more tools and see what's in there. I'm definitely coming back with more tools. <laughs> That's a nice little payoff. I probably did maybe six pans worth through the sluice and that's a pretty good result for six pans worth well guys i had an absolutely fantastic time today i hit a creek really hard i spent actually a lot longer than what i thought i was going to spend there um today has been all about prospecting for a spot to sluice i took one river sluice along to see how viable some of these spots were and i've got just i found one really nice crevice so i've got to go back with with the correct tools and if i can go back there i think i should get some really quality gold well the real question is though did you see it did you see where the coordinates were to find the prize uh, so you can go in your own treasure hunt if you don't know about this check out our 200 subscriber video uh, below and then have a have a look for the clue that's in this video it could be anywhere title could be in the description it could be in the video it could be now it could be before it could be after <laughs> anyway so keep your eyes open watch it again so you might find it really obvious you might find it really difficult to find who knows it's part of the game thank you for watching guys the gold's coming up right after this uh and i got a fair bit of it so i'm pretty stoked about that all right guys hope to catch you out there sometime see you later all right guys you can see it's zeroed here um so we're going to just do a little bit of a way out for what i got doing that today a bit of fun oh nice 0.45 almost half a gram for a couple hours work uh mostly panning not high banking or anything which i think is really cool I mean, check it out.